Storm is brought to you by Kroger. Fresh food, low prices. Welcome back, everyone. We are in the kitchen now cooking up a storm. Meteorologist Jacob Dickey here, and we made soup last week. We're going to just keep up the same trend. Yeah, that's right? right. We're going to try and do six weeks of soup and get some soups in here because we did not get six weeks of fall. We got, what, three days of fall? We did, and it is cold It now. is. And th so there's nothing like a good, hearty soup mm -hmm. to warm you up on the inside on a nice autumn day or winter day, I guess, that we're in here mm -hmm. uh, moving forth. And, and this recipe here, I'm really excited about this It's a this corn one. chowder. Corn chowder, yeah. It's mm -hmm. a really good, hearty soup, but... I do a little differently. Corn chowder generally is a very creamy soup. Mm -hmm. I decided to go dairy free. Okay. As much as I love cheese and I love milk, try some almond milk in here. I really think that's going to bring out the fall flavor in this. Okay. I've never had almond milk. My grandmother uses it all the time. Um, it's so. really sweet. It's, it's not bad here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really drink a lot of it either, but uh, this recipe, I think it just pairs really well in the crock pot. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, if you want to, you can always just use the half and half of the. the, the um, the whole milk or whatever milk you have here, okay. but for those that maybe have you know, lactose issues or, or sensitive you. to dairy, okay. this is a great recipe for you. All right, get us started. What do we need? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have some bacon. Can't go wrong with bacon, That's right? A good so start fry for some me. bacon in a pan, <laughs> okay. and uh, about four to eight strips or so. And if you want more bacon like me, you can go mm -hmm. a little more. And I fried that up in here. And then I left the drippings in the pan, but I have the bacon in my hand here. Okay. And that's going to go into the crock pot. Okay. And then the other thing you'll do here is you'll fry your onion. Take one whole onion mm -hmm. and use it and uh, um, saute it in that bacon grease there. And so it's going to be nice and flavored. It's a little bit of an extra step. If you don't have time, cut your onion up and throw it in just there. Just put it in there. It'll okay. be just fine. All right. But uh, that extra mile, I think, is going to make the difference in this soup. Okay. Then, of course, we're going to have some vegetables in here. And I've got uh, two stalks of celery, mm -hmm. two medium carrots, and one potato that I've diced up in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to add some nice hearty vegetables into it. Can't go wrong with that here moving forth. And so I'm just going to dump that right it's on into it. It's a good looking bowl of veggies. Yeah, really. And you know, can't go wrong with veggies as, as far as things are concerned. All right. Next then is the corn. Got to have corn for corn chowder. All right. And I went ahead and got the Kroger sweet corn in the freezer bags. It works really well. It's already cut and it's a great quality product. What here. about canned corn? Are you going to say no to that? If you want to use canned corn, okay. you can do that too, but just be sure you strain your corn. Okay. You this is going to be a little fresher and maybe not as much salt going to be in this Yeah, absolutely. Too. And the other thing too is, is if you really want to go out, go ahead and take a whole like frozen ear of corn and mm -hmm. you can actually slice that really well and get some nice texture. Get this, the frozen. Yeah. This, save some stuff. This bag right here is just going to do a, a great job of, of getting that in there. All so right. I've got that in there. We've got all of our vegetables we need in there. Okay. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to put half of a carton of my almond milk Ooh, in there. Half a carton. Half okay. a carton, about four cups worth. And that's okay. going to be my broth based in there. All and right. it's going to go on in. And then we're going to use some seasonings as well. I've got bay leaf. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put two bay leaves on top here while it's being poured that milk in, okay. uh, the almond milk. And then I'm going to have a marjoram and some salt. Okay. And that's going to add a And marjoram, really this is new to me. It's it, very, it's kind of got a minty it, smell it to does. it. It does. It's an unusual spice. Mm -hmm. It's not that common. But boy, does it have a good flavor to it. And I love. You just kind of like. Sort of the fall feel of it, or yeah, smell of it. it's it's really pairs well with that almond milk here. So I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna do about six hours, low and slow. We're gonna cook that, and we'll okay. set this to the side here. All right. And while that's cooking, then about 30 minutes before you're done, mm -hmm. you can take a little bit of cornstarch here and about a half a cup of your broth. Uh -huh. Just mix that together to make it a little thicker if you want, but you don't have to do that. If okay. you want to, just come on home and uh, cook it here. So. Then, after six, six and a half hours, or if you have to go seven or eight, totally mm -hmm. fine, it's done and ready to serve. And we're, we're going to serve some now. You ready right. for that? Well, I tell you what, let's go to break. Sure, get it we served can do that. up. And, uh, well, of course, we're going to have the recipe for you. We'll go back over it all yeah. again after the break. Stay with us. We're back. This is the finished product on our corn chowder, corn chowder that is yes. dairy free. We, of course, will have the recipe on the Mid Morning Facebook page. And speaking of recipes, I got to tell you about this. Mid Morning is doing a cookie recipe swap. So we hey. want you to post your favorite holiday cookie recipe on the Mid Morning Facebook page, and we will share it on our show. And our plan is, depending on how many we get, we may pick one and actually make it here on the show. Hey, that sounds so, like a great idea. All of your favorite holiday cookie recipes, send them to the Mid Morning Facebook page. Page. That's right, yeah. All right. So as far as this goes, I topped with a little bacon. And I put a little cheese on there because I love cheese. But you top with bacon, salt, a little bit of fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to dig in real quick. Can I All do right. that? You want to get a bite too? Quick. Look, why not? Do Here we go. It's dairy free. Mmm. That flavor. Mm, good. Really good flavor with that almond milk in there. And the so. little sweetness of the corn. I think You're exactly too. right. So it's mm. a good, hearty soup, but it's not that hearty. It's not too heavy. Mm -hmm. It's about right. Corn chowder, dairy-free, very tasty. Good to see you. Absolutely. It's been great to More be More soup coming up next week. Y'all have a great day.